myself sagar choksi from lj institutes of engineering and technology so in previous session we have started moving average method and that we have already completed in previous session so in today's session we are going to discuss about exponential smoothing method so in today's session we are going to discuss about procedure of exponential smoothing method and numerical on exponential smoothing method so let's start the lecture lecture number 9 that related to exponential smoothing method so first of all what do you understand by exponential smoothing method okay so here i have attached one video that related to sales forecasting okay so now what do you understand by exponential smoothing method so in this method there is no need to have past or previous data okay number 2 in exponential smoothing method to forecast the demand for the next time period or next uh, month okay this method require only two data first one is current demand number two that is forecasted demand i have denoted current demand as d of t and forecasted demand for f of t minus 1 okay so exponential smoothing method there is no need to have previous or past data based on the current demand and forecast demand following equation gives the forecasted demand of t time period okay so the equation is ft is equal to f of t minus 1 plus alpha into d of t minus 1 minus f of t minus 1 where f of t minus 1 that is forecasted demand alpha that is exponential smoothing constant d of t minus 1 that is demand actual demand and f of t minus 1 once again forecasted demand so it is very important to know about exponential smoothing constant alpha okay so here the value of exponential smoothing constant alpha that range between 0 to 1 okay so based on that equation f of t is equal to f of t minus 1 plus alpha into d of t minus 1 minus f of t minus 1 based on this equation we we will calculate sales forecasting demand okay so move forward to its numerical that related to exponential smoothing method so now we will see numerical on exponential smoothing method so here you have given one table that related to exponential smoothing method you have given 10 different month and you have also given actual demand for 10 different month for example for first month you have given actual demand that is 15 for example second month actual demand that is 20 and up to 10th month for 10th month you have given the actual demand that is 30 now you have also given the first month forecast that is 12 okay so now you need to calculate forecasting for each month okay f1 f2 f3 up to f10 okay so, but you have given forecasting for first month that is 12 okay so here forecast for first month that is 12 f1 is equal to 12 okay here you have also given exponential smoothing constant that is 0.4 okay so now you need to calculate forecasting for each and every month so now you have one equation f of t is equal to f of t minus 1 plus alpha into d of t minus 1 minus f of t minus 1 so now to find out forecasting for second month because you have already given f1 now you have to find out f2 to f10 okay so now you need to find out f2 f2 that is equal to f of 2 minus 1 that is f1 plus alpha into d1 minus f1 so now f2 is equal to you have given f1 that is 12 so f1 that is 12 plus alpha alpha that is 0.4 in bracket d1 actual demand for the month Uh, for the first month that is given 15 so 0.4 into 15 minus f1 f1 that is 12 so the value of f2 is equal to 13.2 
so in this way we can calculate forecasting for second month same is now we need to find out f3 to f10 okay so move forward to next slide so similarly to finding f3 we have f2 is equal to 13.2 and d2 in table in previous slide i have attached one table in this table d2 is equal to 20 so now the equation is ft is equal to f of t minus 1 plus alpha into d, d of t minus 1 minus f of t minus 1. So f3 is equal to f2 plus alpha into d2 minus f2. So now f2 is given 13.2 plus 0.4 that is alpha into d2. d2 that is 20 minus f2 that is 13.2. So in this way we can calculate f3 is equal to 15.92. So this is F3. Now we need to find out F4, F5. For finding F4, we have F3 that is equal to 15.92 and D3 that is equal to 23 in the, in the previous table. Okay. So now the equation is F4 is equal to F3 plus alpha into D3 minus F3. Now put all the value in this particular equation. So you will get F4 is equal to 15.92 plus 0.4 into 23 minus 15.92. So the value of F4 that is equal to 18.75. So now we need to find out F5. So move forward to next slide. So now for finding F5 we have F4 is equal to 18.75 and in the table D4 is equal to 15. So now we need to find out F5. So the equation is F5 is equal to F4 plus alpha into D4 minus F4. So the value is 18.75 plus 0.4 into 15 minus 18.75. F5 that is equal to 17.25. In this way we can calculate F5. So now we need to calculate F6. So for finding F6 we have F5 is equal to 17.25 and D5 is equal to 23. So now put all the value in this equation F6, F6 is equal to F5 plus alpha into D5 minus F5. So in this way you can calculate F6 is equal to 19.55. So now we need to find out F7, F8, F9 and F10. Okay, so move forward to next slide. Now we need to find out F7. Okay, so we have F6 is equal to 19.55 and in table you have given D6 is equal to 20. So now the equation is F7 is equal to F6 plus alpha in bracket D6 minus F6. Now put all the value in this particular equation. So you will get 19.55 plus 0.4 in bracket 20 minus 19.55. So you, you will get F7 is equal to 19.73. So now we need to calculate F8. Okay. So we have F7 is equal to 19.73 and in table you have given D7 is equal to 10. So F8 is equal to F7 plus alpha into D7 minus F7. So put all the value in this particular equation and you will get the forecasting for 8 month that is 15.84. Okay, so move forward to next slide. So now for finding F9, we have F8 is equal to 15.84 and D8 that is equal to 5. Okay, so the equation is Ft is equal to F of T minus 1 plus alpha into D, D of T minus 1 minus F of T minus 1. So F9 that is equal to F8 plus alpha into D8 minus F8. So put all the value in this particular equation so that 15.84 plus 0.4 in bracket 5 minus 15.84. So you will get F9 is equal to 11.51. Okay. So for finding F10 we have F9 that is equal to 11.51 and D9 that is equal to 25. So now you need to find out the forecasting for 10th month. F10 is equal to F of 9 plus alpha into D9 minus F9. So put all the value in this particular equation. 
that is equal to 11.51 plus 0.4 in bracket 25 minus 11.51. So you will get F10 is equal to 16.90. So based on that one equation, you will find out the forecasting for each month. Okay. So this is what exponential smoothing method. Okay. So thank you, thank you so much. In this session, we have completed exponential smoothing method. In next session, we will start a line of balancing. Okay. So thank you, thank you so much.